Hello! Happy Thursday! How is everyone? Um, so we are doing a live. I haven't done one on a nighttime very... I did one last night, but haven't really done one lately. So we are going to get started. Um, I wanted to play with some oranges and yellows because um, that is something a lot of people are afraid to play with. And I don't think you should be, um, especially if you have blue eyes. So I have blue eyes, so we're going to play around with that. So starting off with our glorious face primer. I meant to put this on beforehand, but I did not. So applying that first. Hi Cassie. Um, and we will be doing this look with splurge cream shadows. So that way you guys um, can see some more colors in action because all I've been using really is the Faithful splurge. And I wanted to use more colors, the Faithful usually for my brows. Hi Jenna. Um, so I want to show you guys some different ways that you can use the splurge colors. So, hi Danielle. So we are trying to get some eye primer out. Um, trying to squeeze as much out as I can. This is like, the tube is like on its last leg, like almost done. So if I can't get it, it's okay. We can always bust into more of the face primer. Hi Gina. So, but yeah, it's like on its way out in the end. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, this much for about two eyes. And we will be starting with the eyes first, but we are still gonna do that concealer trick I've been doing lately, so that way I at least have some sort of base on my face before I apply my actual foundation. So, we are gonna start off with Belore Concealer, which is, it's a little yellower than I am right now, but considering how little of it I'm gonna use, and it's really just to kind of protect the area around my eyes, it's not going to make much of a difference to what I'm doing. So, some stuff fell. It's fine. Hi, Kayla. All right, so using our Velour Concealer, a little bit goes a long way. So I'm going to apply just a tad right here. Hi, Nicole. Tomorrow's plan is to clean all this stuff up because I have to do an event on Saturday. So doing our nose too, just to kind of get that good base down. So, what's up? So I have to tell you guys, um, I started trying to clean off and um, clean up my extensions today. All right, so here's a beauty um, blender. I'm gonna take our setting spray, hi Kelly, and spray that in. So that way it's going to set the makeup while I'm applying it. So I have these synthetic extensions and I'm asking you guys for help on this because I'm getting so, yay! I'm so glad that they send like email updates. Vicky, um, they send email updates for when your package should be arriving. I'm so glad my website does that because it gives you the opportunity to like stock it. And I don't know about you guys, but I love stocking my packages like from Amazon, from Unique, anywhere I may be ordering the, an item from. So we're blending in that little bit of concealer. Hi, Dawn. So you guys can see how far that little bit goes. And we're just doing it around our eyes before we get into our foundation. Okay, so back to the hair extensions thing. So using the hair extensions, um, I have these synthetic hair extensions I got back in December. And they came curly. That's, I have like a planet growing in my face, so I want to cover that up a little bit more. Um, they came in curly. And I just started learning how to like wash extensions, restyle them, all that fun stuff. And I washed them yesterday, let them dry overnight, and I went to recurl them today. And they're not curling, they're straightening right out. So if anyone has any advice on how to recurl synthetic extensions, please let me know. I need help. <laughs> I'm drinking white claw. Why not? It's a Thursday night. All right, so. Starting off with that, I'm also going to do my brows really quick. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Ainsley. So we are using our brow pencil in light. I just want to be sure these are all nice and clean. Something that helps with a great eye makeup application, sometimes um, having your brows done. Having your brows done helps clean everything up and really um, gives a different look. Hi, Lara, to the 
um, eye look you're trying to achieve. Because if you don't have your brows done, sometimes you can't tell, all right, I shouldn't go up this high. I should stay closer to this. And I've been using my Esteem Lash Serum again more often. And my brows are growing back in more. So I'm like, yeah. Holla. What's up? All right. So we are building in our brows a little bit here. Just kind of following where I had them microbladed. If you have been thinking about microblading, definitely worth it. You got to check it out. Um, My friend Justine does them with... um. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Renew You Aesthetics. Hello, hello, how is everyone? So she does them with Renew You Aesthetics, and they're amazing. I was like the first person she ever did them on too, so it was cool. So I'm just like, here's my problem. I tend to over pluck. So when I over pluck, I lose all shape of my brow. I don't know where to begin. I don't know where to end. And when it t comes time to, you know, kind of tweeze them up, fix them up, I don't know where to stop. So having them microbladed really helped a girl out, let me tell you, so I know where to go when it comes time to drying them. Awesome! Yay! I hope everyone had a really good Thursday. I'm babysitting my friend's kids so while well, she's at work, so I watch them all day today. And so nice. They get along so well. It's a one and a half year old and a five year old should be six in October. And uh, they get along really well. So I've been at my friend's house since like 7 a.m. And I have to do it all again tomorrow. And they were like playing for like five hours and they're in like the five year old's room. And I'm like, oh. I was watching like Cake Wars. Like I love those kind of shows. I love shows like baking shows. Makes me super hungry. But I love baking shows. So I was watching that while they were like playing around the back. Every once in a while, you know, at commercial, I'd get up and be like, you good? Everything okay? Hi, Kristen. Um, they're like, yeah, we're fine. Well, the five-year-old would answer. And uh, every once in a while, I'd hear a, ah, or a Melody, Mar Mariana, like just yelling at each other. And then I'm like, all right, go back, check. All right, you're fine. There's no blood. So, then the five year old was getting bored. She's like, I don't want to stay home anymore. Can we go do something? And I'm like, all right, fine, let's go. So, but hey, it's fun. They're great kids and I've been watching them forever. So I'm like, I don't mind watching them. I love them. All right, so we are going to use three splurges today. We're going to use a matte, unapologetic. We are going to use two shimmers, extravagant and defiant. All right. So we're going to start off with the matte color. This is Unapologetic. Unapologetic is a burnt orange color. So we're going to take a little bit of that. And where our eye primer is all set in, so we're going to start building it from the outside in. This is my favorite way to do a smoky eye. From the outside in. Because I get a sense of where I want it to start, where I want it to end. And I'm starting to shape out the V. So again, on this eye as well. Feel free to share this video too if you get a chance. Um, it would be greatly appreciated, of course. So this is Unapologetic. These are cream shadows. They are part of this month's kudos. Um, our monthly bargain deal. And you get a splurge cream shadow of your choosing, a hottie lip plumper of your choosing. Warning, they are selling out quick. Jenna just sold out today. Jenna is sold out. Um, what else? And you get Epic Mascara, which is our one-step, no fibers needed mascara. It is the bomb.com. And so it's the splurge, hottie lip plumper, and the Epic Mascara. And you're basically getting Epic Mascara for $5. $5. Feel free to sing the $5 foot long Zion because I used to all the time. Hi Lauren. Uh, so I stopped doing that though because I'm like, okay, this is obnoxious. So we're not doing that anymore. All right. So trying to find a crease brush that will work for me. All right. We're going to use this one. I'm going to clean it off really quick though. Um, using our brush cleaner. So you guys can see it's a black top. 
I have a towel over here, so hang on. Still black, but it's less. So this is our um, brush cleaner. Cleans your brushes, hydrates them, or not hydrates them, conditions them, makes them all nice and pretty and clean again in seconds. So I'm literally just scrubbing it. Much better. And it's relatively inexpensive. Most brush cleaners can be up there on price. This one, luckily, is only $19. Doll hairs. $19 doll hairs. So we are using the crease brush because it's a little stiffer than a normal um, blending brush. So the stiffness is good, especially when you are blending cream shadows. So when you're blending cream shadows, you want a little bit of a stiffer brush. These will dry to a powdery finish. However, they are still a cream right now as we're working with them. So they will take some time to adjust. Might need to clean some of that up a little bit. That's okay, we can clean it up as we go along. And we're actually gonna clean some up right now. So I'm going to take Velour Concealer. I'm putting it on this mirror. This is what I have handy. And we are going to sculpt. So this little bit of concealer. We are going to sculpt around the eye. Beneath the brows. So that they're being highlighted appropriately. And it's just kind of taking away this. I went a little crazy here, so I'm just kind of taking away a little bit. And I will blend that out. And I barely even use all of that. So that was just a little bit of concealer, just enough to get a um, fix up what I need to fix up. So we're going to take a blending brush. See how much better that looks? Blending downward. And it also helps kind of fade and blend out the color itself. Hi Stephanie, hi Uncle Bart. All right, so now that we have our good base down, we are going to move on. I'm gonna just kinda to some of the shimmer. Hi Heather. Um, and I'm actually going to attempt, I think I'm going to attempt a Halo Smoky. What do you guys think? I'm nervous. All right, so we're going to start off with Defiant then. All right, so Defiant is uh, another splurge. There is a difference between the matte splurges and the shimmer, and I'm going to show you. So they're the same amount of products, okay? So it's a matte splurge. Matte splurge, it's packed in so the consistency is correct, so it looks like it's more full. This is the same amount of product. It is spongier. And it um, has shimmer in it, so it's going to have a different consistency. Don't freak out if you get your splurge in and it's not the same consistency. <clears throat> um, there have been several times. All right, I'm going to start the halo part. So I'm going to try. I'm getting the outside V first. There have been several times where everyone's like, oh my God, it's not the same. And I'm like, it's the same. It's fine. My best friend too, she was like, I got the different splurge and now I don't know what to do. And I'm like, it's the same thing. It's okay, it's because of the consistency and the materials they have to put into it. Hi Beth. So because of the materials that have to go into it, they are going to be different. So she was like freaking out and I'm like, no, you're fine, don't worry. So again, working in that outer V, we're starting the halo effect. So this is Defiant Splurge. I'm a little nervous about doing this. I haven't done a halo in a while. And the last time I did a halo, it did not turn out how I wanted it. So this is totally a risk and you guys are gonna see me either succeed or fail. So stay with me. 
Hopefully it works. No, you don't. Practice, practice, practice. This is what I tell people all the time. I'm like, you got to practice. And they're like, I do. And I'm like, okay, can I, I have to do a video someday soon to show you guys what I used to do for my makeup. Holy guacamole. Whoever let me walk out of the house, I don't want to be friends with you anymore. <laughs> like, that's how bad it used to be. It just was not pretty. It wasn't cute. It looked so bad. And I'll be honest, like, it was a lot of YouTube, a lot of, okay, like, let me see, you know, paying more attention to, like, the beauty sections and the magazines and all that because I wanted to do it right and I just didn't know where to start. All right, so now we're going to use Extravagant. My Extravagant's a little dried out. <laughs> so I'm going to clean this off. And I'm actually going to use a little bit of concealer. So I just clean it off. And I'm putting it right in the center here. And I'm using a very small brush, okay? Right in the center. But seriously, guys, the more you practice, the more you work at it, the more resources you look out for, the better you'll do. I promise. Okay, yeah, that is pretty bad. <laughs> I'm not a mom. I'm a dog mom. So I can't attest to that. But let me tell you, a lot of the most successful people in this company who do makeup, um, they're all moms as well. And, you know, they say the same thing. Like, they're just like, I practice a lot. And maybe figure out to, like, get your kids to bounce on your lap at the same time so that way you're able to, you know, kind of hit your lashes if you have to. You know, it's just a matter of, I don't know. I'm also not a mom, so I really can't say much. But I do stress to people, I'm like, you just gotta keep practicing. Hi, Emily. Hello, hello. But I swear to you, the biggest beauty gurus, they didn't know what they were doing either. Yep, I have a German Shepherd too. He is a nut, but he, so my office is downstairs when I do my makeup. He will not come downstairs. I mean, it's a good thing and a bad thing. He won't come down the stairs, but he'll destroy everything upstairs while I'm down here. So, I have to be very careful about that. You can borrow my kids. You know, I was watching Monica and Mariana today, and, or, no, Mariana and Melanie today, and I'm always like, like, Monica's always like, oh, thanks for watching the girls. I'm like, anytime, and I have to stop myself now, and I'm like, not anytime. They were good. Bye! All right, so we are getting in the extravagant color which is a nice gold tone. And we're putting that on top of the concealer. All right, so as I'm doing this, I'm getting drops because this splurge is a little dried out. It is a shimmer, but it's a little dried out. Um, and I'm getting drops of it falling on my face. Here's the benefit to what I did. It's not messing up my foundation because I did not finish my foundation. Um, so I did not finish my foundation. And instead, I'm going to be able to whisk away what I need to whisk away. Also, when working with creams, you want to work cream to cream and then cream to powder. So I usually, I've been using the powder foundation a lot because it's quick, it's easy, it's nice, airy, fresh, and so smooth. So what I can do is the concealer, since it covers up so well, I can apply, hi Donya, the concealer to my face again, you know, kind of brush away what I need to brush away first, and then apply the concealer underneath to get rid of any misshapen, unpleasant looking uh, marks that happen. So that way, that is a bonus. All right. Now, we're going to need to go back to the Defiant color, and we're going to have to start blending. There's like a little bit in this top here, so we're going to use this first. I'm really liking how this is coming out. This is actually coming out better than I thought. So I'm like, don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. So I'm blending into the crease, too. Um, wrapping up that halo effect. I 
I will be applying some powder as well. And making sure I'm getting that nice V shape, like so. All right. So now I'm going to apply just a little bit of powder just to kind of brighten everything up again. So I'm going to use our pressed powder in Alive. Super pretty color. Um, does wonders with the yellow tone in it. So it is a yellow, kind of yellow champagne-y look to it. And just setting it right in the center here. And I'm dabbing it on with a um, cream shadow brush. So see how much different that is now? All right, and the next one I'm going to apply is, I'm gonna apply a little bit of, oh, I get these two confused to make all the time. Lively or witty, I can't remember which one. So we're gonna use this darker orange one. I wanna say that's lively. I use it a lot, but I guess I don't use it as much as I'd like to think. So just kind of hitting the top of that there. It is a matte shadow. Well, it's a little more matte. It's more like a satin. But it's going to soften up the edges here. All right. So now I'm going to take a break from the eyes, revisit them. Now we're going to move on to the foundation. That way I can get under the eyes here and really wrap everything around. So foundation wise, um, first I'm going to clean up with the concealer. So again, I'm going to use velour concealer and clean all that up. Hi, Virginia. Right now I'm taking a plain brush. Just kind of whisking that all away. So concealer is like your best friend. Um, for those of you who are like, oh, I'm terrible at doing my makeup, um, keep a good concealer around, a really good concealer. The reason why is if you mess up, you can conceal it, concealer. Um, but this concealer I love because I could pack on, you know, remember when like everyone was doing those hundred layers of this, hundred layers of this, I could pack on a hundred layers of it and I would not feel it on my skin. Uh, that's how good it is. You wouldn't feel it like irritating your skin sitting there heavily. The dogs are barking. I don't know why. Hi, Lauren. Uh, so they're upstairs. So we're going to use our pressed powder and crepe and start blending that in. So I have been in love with this new pressed powder formula. It's soft. It's rich. It's smooth. And I'm breaking out because I'm drinking. Always happens. So I'm going to show you the coverage you get. It's not heavy. It's perfect for summer. I would not be able to wear this in winter. I have dry skin in the winter. Summer's a whole different story. But it is covering up that redness. All right, so see the coverage I'm getting? It feels smooth, it's silky, it's not irritating me in any way. So this is with just a little bit of concealer here under the eyes. So it feels natural. It's in no way irritating. So we're gonna move on to the other side. And also what the pressed powder is doing, it is mattifying and helping to set the liquid concealer we used. It's not really liquid, it's it's very creamy, the, the concealer. Hi Nicole, so it's not liquid, but it is very, very creamy. But you guys can see how well it's covering everything up as quickly as possible. Sometimes if you dab it on too, you get a better coverage. All 
And then what I like to do is I like to take a smaller brush and since I set things differently, whoop, so taking a flat headed brush, getting where I need to put a little bit more foundation coverage that the thicker brush is not going to be able to reach. Like so. Alright, so we have our foundation on. Next up is we're going to just kind of wrap up a little bit of contouring. I'm not going crazy with the contouring. I really want to concentrate on the eyes. So we're going to do it the quick way with our bronzer. This is in Malibu. Tap off any excess, by the way. If you don't want um, too much, tap off the excess. It helps keep everything nice and soft and smooth. Along our jawline, down our neck just a little bit. Just trying to cover up the double chin. On our forehead. And then we're going to get our nose. So you want to pinch this and slowly work it down the sides of your nose. Now how you contour your nose also depends on your face shape. Um, in class, when I was taking my makeup courses, they actually said I had a, like, a cute little button nose, and I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I didn't, I was like, whatever. I've heard that before, too, and I was like, all right. And, um, so, to me, like, I just really get the ends of it, because it gets a little bulbous for me, so I fix that up. I don't really go too far, like, up and into my brows. All right, next I'm going to use Belize Highlighter, which is part of our Beachfront Kiss Collection, which is selling out so freaking fast. If you haven't gotten it yet, you need to. So using this, getting a little highlight in there. Excuse me, sorry guys. And we're actually gonna use the rest of this to wrap up our look. But super shimmery. So we're using just a little bit below the brows here. Be yeah, a super shimmery. All right, then next up, we're gonna take our Belize highlighter. We are going to take a smaller brush and use one of these. It's about this size. Put a little bit in the inner corner. I'm actually really liking this look. What do you guys think so far? Yay, nay, and I'm putting a little bit more on top of our center lid there. What do you guys think? Yay or nay so far? I'm digging it. I like it a lot. Alright, then I'm going to take, I'm going to clean this brush off really quick. Which is a little hard to do with the stuff that's so, 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 so sparkly and glittery. So, remember when you're watching this, thank you. Um, be mindful of that. It is <clears throat> very, very glittery, so you may not get all of it out. Alright, so I'm going back to this darker orange again. Going underneath my eye. Just trying to wrap it all up here. Woo! Got a weird feeling right there.
So we are pulling it in really tight there. Sorry, like when I get powders near my eyes sometimes, like they freak out. I'm going to say flashbacks to when I had eye surgery. All right, and I'm going to grab a little bit of Alive. It's really not that big. It was just LASIK. I did make it sound way more dramatic than it actually was. Sorry. All right, so we have that little bit pulled in. Now we can move on to the mascara part. So let me close these bottles up because I don't want them to dry out. So I have all my splurges open so I knew which one was what and I wasn't like opening another one. And so I hate doing that. It happens to me all the time. So we are going to use Epic Mascara, my favorite, which everyone should have in their life. I'm not even kidding. Alright, so, um, let's do Epic Mascara, which is right here. I'm like, where is it? Found it. I'm going to use the other side of this mirror that doesn't have any concealer on it. Ooh, what is that? What is that? It's just like a little chunk of splurge. So Epic Mascara is amazing because it curls, lengthens, volumizes your mas your lashes in one step. And really adds a nice dimension to it. If I was going anywhere, I would totally put false lashes on with this, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying home. So next coat. I always hold my mirror like this when I'm doing my lashes, and I'm like, I don't know why. Don't know why, I can't tell you. Alright, so next eye, we're going to, I mean, not next, next eye, but next coat. Hi, Gammy. Keeping them nice and big. I love big lashes. So we have our Epic Mascara on. They actually look really freaking good right now. I'm actually really impressed with how this eye look came out. I'm like, I wish I was going somewhere. Like this actually looks like really good. Unfortunately, I'm just going to bed after this. Taking off my makeup and going to bed. So next we're gonna use a Hattie Lip Plumper. And we're going to use, I don't know if I wanna use Holly Megan or Chandel. So let me show you Holly Megan. Holly Megan is a chocolate brown, and these are also going away soon. These will be sold out quickly. Hi, Marky. So this is Chandel. Hi, Corey. So I don't know if I want to do Holly Megan or Chandel. You guys weigh in. I'm trying to decide. I'm gonna have a sip while I wait for you. Wait, 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 wait for your vote. These are so good. So so good. So. Holly Megan or Chandel. Chandel's on top, Holly Megan's on the bottom. These will be sold out by the end of the month. Uh, Jenna is already sold out, it is gone. I'm actually really upset because that's one of my favorites. Um, so that is gone already. These are well as supplies last kind of products. So I'm actually gonna touch up my brows really quick while I'm here. What's up? 
while I'm at this stage waiting to see which color I should do. I love asking you guys because I like hearing you guys weigh in, letting me know what you want to see. So I'm stuck between these two colors. It might be Chandel. It's probably going to be Chandel. I really love the Chandel color. So it's probably going to be Chandel. I'm just using a little bit of pressed powder to like kind of darken up parts of my brows. I like using the medium pencil more, but that medium pencil is upstairs. So I have not used it in a while. And it's only upstairs because I just got it in. Also, can I just brag about my company really quick? Um, I had some orders. They couldn't fulfill everything in the order. And they are they sent me like replacement items and now they are finally sending me the actual items so they do a really good job of taking care of us and making sure that we get our items but we're not disappointed i've also had several items where they couldn't fulfill it and they instead i'm gonna go with chandel um they couldn't fulfill it entirely so they ended up uh granting me website credit so So this is Chandel. Also, I gotta tell you, they did a great job picking out the names for these. Like, so they did a contest back in November to get your name on a product. Huge deal. Um, and it was for these lip plumpers we found out at the beginning of the month. And the winners, and the colors that they went with go hand in hand like this, okay? Chandel, she's such a, like a, she's a very, and she's a unique presenter. She's very, like, quiet, like, demure, like, just, you know, you could tell she's like, oh, I'm just, like, a housewife. I don't know her personally, and I hope I'm not offending her or anyone who knows her. But, you know, it's just, like, everything kind of fit with the person they named it after. So, I am in love with this line, and... I'm like secretly hoping at convention they're like, oh, and we're keeping everything, but most likely not. They like to tease us with hottie all the time, teasing us all the time. All right, guys, so this is my sunset eyes. Please ignore the like rashing that's happening on my neck. I was also playing with my, um, hi Lauren, my extension, so that kind of irritates me a little bit. So, but I'm digging these sunset eyes. It's making my blue eyes pop like crazy. Um, so I am a huge, huge fan. If you guys have any questions at all, please let me know. I'm going to try to start doing my best again to, to comment everything I use in the comment section below once I list it all after this video and take my photos and all that fun stuff. So, but in the meantime, I'm digging this. So if you have blue eyes, hi Stephanie, this, these are colors you definitely want to have in your corner. Okay. I know they're scary. I know they're intimidating. I know they're orange. I know they're yellow, but you guys can rock it. Let me tell you, you can rock it. Okay. All right, guys, that is all for me tonight. I will talk to you all later and have a great rest of your Thursday.